Hello children, hope you are keeping fine and here I am back with another video. So in my previous class, I taught you till question number 9, isn't it? So today we will solve question number 10. So let's start without wasting time, okay? So what is the greatest number which gives a remainder 4 when it divides 140 and 38? Okay, first let's try to understand the question. See, two numbers are given, that is 140 and 38, alright? And it is said that what is the greatest number? You have to find a greatest number. Suppose x, x is the greatest number. So, we have to find x so that when this x divides this two number, it will leave remainder 4. Okay? It means we have to find the greatest number. So, this x is your 8 cf. It means we have to find 8 cf of 140 and 38 which after dividing will leave the remainder 4. I hope you have understood the question. Okay, let's try to solve it. So, for, to solve this first step, what you have to do? Question number 10. 140. Okay, the given number, you can write the numbers are 140 and 38. Okay, so first step, what you will do, we have to subtract 4. Okay, from 140. And 38. So how much we will get? 140 minus 4 is your 136. And 38 minus 4 will be your 34. Right? So 38 minus 4 will be your 34. Now we have to find its 8CF. Okay, so therefore, 8CF. So we will find this out by using division method. Okay, 136. So 34, 4 ja, 4 4 ja 16, 3 4 ja 12, 13. So 34, 4 ja, 136. Okay, are you getting this? So 34 is what? It is ACF. It means 34 is the number, okay, is the greatest number which will divide 140 and 38 and it will leave remainder 4. I will show you. So I am rubbing this. So therefore, 34 is the greatest number. Now suppose if you want to check, okay, whether 34 is the greatest number or not, okay, which uh, when divides 140 and 34, uh, 38, whether it will leave the remainder or not. So let's check 140 and 34, okay. So 34... 3 is a, third, okay, 34, 4 j is 4, 4 is a 16, 3, 4 is a 12, 136. So, 34, 4 is a 136. See? 4 left or not? The remainder is 4. Now, similarly for 38. See, 34, 1 is a 34. And the remainder is 4. Alright? So, I hope this is clear to you. So, 34 is the greatest number. Okay. Now, let's do another question. So, let us do question number. Okay. Let us do another question. Question number 11. Okay. So, here it is given that the length and breadth of a rectangular field 
are 105 meter and 45 meter respectively. Suppose this is a rectangular field, okay, and its length is 105 meter and its breadth is 45 meter. What is the length of the largest road which measures the dimension of the field and exact number of the times? So here we have to find length of a road. Suppose this is a road. So we have to find its length which will divide its length and breadth of a rectangular field exact number of times. It means the required length of the road okay, will be the HCF of 45 meter and 105 meter. Okay, let us solve this. So length. So given is your length. Length is equal to 45 meter and breadth is your 105 meter. So therefore HCF is equal to required length of the road. Alright. So, let us find the HCF by using division method. Okay. So, 105. It's 2 times is 90. Then it is 5. Then it is your 1. And 45. 3 is a 45. See. So, 15. Okay. So, therefore, Required or you can say therefore length of the road the length of the road is 15 meter. Okay. So if you divide 45 by 15 then it will be divide uh, divisible exactly okay and if you divide 105 also by 15 then it will get exactly divisible all right so uh, the required length is the 15 meter i hope this is clear to you now let us try another question that is question number 12 okay now question number 12 is what should be the maximum capacity of a jug for measuring milk of two vessels containing 255 liter and 135 liter respectively and exact number of times. Okay, let us try to do this. Okay, let me rub this. Okay. 
So, vessel one. Let's suppose it is one hundred, two hundred twenty-five liter. All right. Sorry, it's two hundred fifty-five. Then, vessel two is your hundred and forty-five. Okay. Now. HCF, okay, is equal to your required maximum capacity of jug. So now, what will be the HCF? One hundred thirty-five, two hundred fifty-five. Okay, so one jug, one hundred thirty-five. Zero, then five minus three is two. Okay, then one twenty. So one thirty-five, one twenty, one jar one twenty. So it is five fifty. Then one hundred twenty. So fifteen eight jar. Fifteen eight five is a fourteen. Eight one jar eight. Eight plus four is twelve. So one hundred twenty. Fifteen eight jar one hundred twenty. So fifteen liter. Okay. So therefore, capacity of jug is fifteen liter. I hope you all can follow this. And if you get any problem, then just let me know. Okay, I'll try to help you out. So for today's class, ah, uh, we will do till here question number thirteen, and we will continue in our. next class so this is all for today my dear students uh, i will see you on my next video okay so till then you practice at home and stay safe so bye bye